Hello and welcome back to Crash Bandicoot 3 Warped for the PlayStation while I'm playing on the PlayStation 3 because Retro is the new... new. Yeah, I don't know where I was going with that. I'm sorry it's taken me so long to get some new videos up. I've just been so, so busy with deadlines and a radio conference this week. I'll explain more in the vlog which I'm going to put out, I think, tomorrow. Um, if, you're, if you're watching this at a later point, it should already be up explaining things. And to be honest, if you're watching it at a later point, then you might not really care anyway. Anyway, let's go on with the game. We're now in world number two, and we're going to be doing level six G Wiz to kick things off. Because why the hell not? World one, world one was pretty good. Now world two. Why? Why must you continue to be a thorn in our side? What? Where was I? Oh. Tiny was a good fellow. He hated everyone and everything, but a good heart nonetheless. Please be more reasonable with my minions next time. Okay, I'll try to. Although, in all fairness, it was you who was trying to kill me. I was just getting the crystals. You were the one who tried to take them from me. Yeah, have that, Cortex. So basically, this is um, the first level redone with you know, a, a bit, a bit difficult, you know, so instead of one frog, there's two frogs, you know, it's, it's really, it's taking up a pace, you know, it's really going for it, as they say, so be careful, don't fall down the dangerous pits, because you will die, and oh my god, I missed it, I like a mask, and there's wizards, wizards who fire pink balls of spells at you, it's like, no Dumbledore, don't, nice pants, it's like, Dumbledore has unfortunately, you know, Things haven't got worked out quite so well for him. He's now casting spells in Crash Bandicoot 3. Because why the hell not? And there's goats as well with little blazers. A goat with a blazer is pretty cute, I suppose. But the evil goats. They will basically buck Crash up to the high heavens. So yeah, pretty simple stuff. There's a hundred boxes in this one because you know, crazy stuff. Um, I should get this one actually now. Okay. There we go. Waiting for the right one. The right slot machine. I should do gambling. Or well, national no, no, I shouldn't. Gamble responsibly, I should I say. So, Crash 3 now, so it's World 2, so, so it's a bit harder than World 1. You know, World 1 is like the tutorial sort of world. Nice, easy, straightforward. A bit, bit, bit more of a challenge. I don't understand the point of that person there, swinging the sword round and round all the time. It makes no sense. And call me crazy, but I tried to kill this blade chicken so many times. Is that really evil of me? Trying to kill it repeatedly, being like, no, you must die. Uh, I don't know, what I like. And of course, wait until they swung the sword around. Don't do it while they're doing it, otherwise you will get sliced in half. If only Crash could make being sliced in half funny. Somehow. Oh no, no, bowls of, bowls of magic. Spin them once, spin them twice, then go ahead a bit, run back, and it's gone. The hat and the beard's gone. What if Crash wanted that, like a party, for a hat and wizard party? Wizard party, I, I don't know. Oh, oh, that was close. Now if we wait here actually, the frog should jump back now, and for some reason he'll jump into the nitro. Don't ask me why, he's a weird old frog. Um, come on, do it, do it. To the left. Why isn't he doing it? There we go. And then, bang! <laughs> it's brilliant. It's just like, <laughs> it's own destruction. It's like, poor old silly, silly old frog. Crazy old game for doing that. Another bonus round then. We're in a world of course where everyone has their own castle, just does their own thing. Mad times indeed. If you haven't worked out by now, each bonus round has the same music. That's the sort of variation on the theme depending on what sort of world we're in. If that makes sense. There we go. Very easy peasy, to be honest. Right. Yeah, the story is like, there, there aren't many levels that I still find that challenging. You know, I know that sounds like I'm being boastful or something like that, but I, I, I really, you know, I find this game pretty straightforward and I haven't played it several times. I think, 
I still find the racing ones a bit of a problem sometimes, and actually, like so some of the later um, jet ski levels, they're tricky. And the racing ones, by the way. Oh, what, 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 what was all that about? Don't what happened there. I do apologise. Right. Go. Into the nitros! Man. <laughs> I absolutely love them. No idea why. Okay. Level 6 done. Romeo done. We'll do worlds 6, 7, and 8. Or level 6, 7, and 8 in this part. And then 9, 10, and the boss in the next. Keep into a nice formula, I think, working well so far. Let Crash do his little thing. And now hang him high. I love these levels set in the sort of Arabian Nights. I don't know, it's just the theme of it, and just... I don't know what it is, really, because the platforming doesn't vary too much between levels. I think, like, the carpets, it's so much, it's so much jumping around, I think. Yeah, it, it's the use of multiple platforms in different areas, like the whole bouncing up here, and the evil, crazy enemies you come into contact with. Don't give the henchman a sword. No, 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 no. And the carpets and everything. Oh, believe me. Disaster waiting to happen. And I get the whole hanging thing as well. This one. Don't, don't get any of Scorpion. Or do. And just make sure you spin at the right time. Let me help you there, mate. Whoops. Maybe not. <laughs> oh, what a combo. Combo kill. Combo kill. That's about fast to be a new thing now. Every time I kill two, two enemies in one. Okay, combo kill. Oh man, if you get it at the right time, that guy will fall down when he stumbles backwards. So it's like, you know, gravity kills him instead. So then Crash d d doesn't feel quite so guilty. Oh no, got, got to get a spin. Got a spin, got a spin. There we go, eventually got it. <laughs> Heart in the mouth moment before I kill the scorpion. Want to do it though, it's fine. I love that whole sort of like laundry out and there's like the vast robes and all sorts of lovely stuff. Anyway, crystal here and bonus again. But I think that's what makes Crash 3 stand out, is that there is more of a variety to the environments. I mean, there's, I mean, they, they do give you quite a variety in the other games, I suppose. Well, in Crash 2, but um, compared to, I think, I think it does it even better in this one. And there's, there's a, such variation. Well, obviously, these levels are the main type, as it were. But things like, you know, the racing levels and the polar purrs and the purrs, well, that's the one. The purrs, the purrs. Bang. Before you know it. Make sure you get it right as well. Make sure you get it with uh, uh, TNT, otherwise you won't be able to get the um the box beneath. And we wouldn't want that now, would we? I mean the one thing that might have been cool, I suppose, if they had um Coco. Uh, Coco levels, you know, when, when she actually plays it as herself. In normal platforming mode, but at the same time, Crash sort of serves that function quite nicely. I can see why they brought her in to um, the map of Cortex for that purpose, because it adds an extra sort of dimension to the game. Because pretty much, you know, the map of Cortex is pretty much a copy of um, Warped. Just with, um, I mean, it has got uh, more things about it. it. Has got different sort of boss types. Oh no! No, 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 no! There we go. Um. Anyway. More on that another time. I mean, I, I don't mind them. Um, Crash World, well, well, rather quiet actually that much. That's the whole sort of loading screens. God, that is annoying. Spent more time waiting for the game to load than actually playing it. Same with like um, Spyro Enter Dragonfly. There's always a pain. There we go. There we go indeed. And in we go. We'll come back and get the gem. The gem actually is accessed through a bonus world in um, level 20. It's, it's officially called level 27, the start of Hang'em High. You have to unlock the level by getting 10 relics, which we should do later on in the game. Right, now, this one. Hog Ride, the first of several bike racing levels. These ones are, can be a bit tricky, 
This one should be okay. It should be okay. I'll focus one flash at winning the race, and then I will go for the crystal. Don't bother. Yeah. First one getting the crystal. I mean, you can do both in one go. I have on a few occasions I did both in one go. But for now, let's just focus on actually getting the um, crystal. If I can make the um, gem as well, then that's all for the ruby. But, you know, I don't want to do too much. I don't know, though, it's going to be so far. Actually, no, I'll go for the gem first. Then I'll just, um, get, get a crystal as well. I don't know why I'm debating this while I'm doing the race. It's like, should have caught this before I started the part, but, meh. Yeah. Oh well. Oh well. Smooth. Smooth. Actually, no, I've got a gem now, so I've got this big crystal. Come on. One last guy here, but I'll get, get past. Come on. Oh, flipping hell. No, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Make that fish, make that fish. Oh well. <laughs> ah, shiver me timbers. Okay, so that is how you get the gem in the next. Now we'll quickly go and do the race again to get the crystal. So obviously, yeah, you have to win the race to get the crystal. That one's quite nice and straightforward. But the like levels, of course, are much harder. It's weird. It is weird though. It's the only case of a level where you go in and you get the gem first or the crystal. You can't get both. Hopefully, you get what I mean there. Okay, go again. And make sure you press X just before it turns green as well, and you'll get a nice speed boost at the start. Very useful for getting past the first two early on. So look, we're already past the first two guys. It's going well. And now we're third. This is textbook execution, guys. Watch it and enjoy it and savour it. And of course, they never use the ramps. At least not in this level. In the ones they do. It's annoying because it's just like, oh, you fuckers. <laughs> this bat's very risky as well, I should say. But you know, if, 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 if you can do it right, it's worth it. And there we go. I love all the little sort of American diamonds as well. And the gas from engine. I think that's just brilliant, personally. There we go. The crystal and the gem for Hog Ride. Just how I like it. It'll probably take me quite a few goes on the next one. I do find them quite tricky. But, you know. Okay, in the next part then, we'll do levels 9, 10 and the boss of World 2 of Flash Bandicoot 3. See you then, guys.